Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are talking about Bill mm -hmm. Algio, Duho Choi. What a matchup. Duho Choi, 14 4 and 1. He is uh, 1 3 and 1 in his last five fights, plus 13500 dog, 33 years old, 5'10 with a 70 inch reach. Mm -hmm. Fighting Bill Algio, who was 18 and 8, 3 and 2 in his last five fights. Most recently was finished by Kyle Nelson. Put him really, really bad to Kyle Nelson. And then just did not let him off the hook. Uh, Bill Algio never went down, but it was a very good stoppage because he was really, really hurt. You know, he's a minus 160, 35 years old, 6 foot tall with a 73 inch reach. Just 2 inches taller than uh, Duho Choi with a 3 inch reach. The, the the interesting thing with this fight is Duho Choi hasn't been the same since the Cub Swanson. Since he went to war with Cub Swanson. To war. Man, he was so good. He debuts against uh, Jan Puig. Finishes in 18 seconds in the first round. Fights Sam Cecilia, who at the time had a pretty decent record. 14-5. and five. Then fought Tiago Tavares, who had a weird 10, but a very, very good grappler, and destroyed him under three minutes in the first round. Fights Cup, fight of the year, absolutely unbelievable fight. And then fights Jeremy Steven, destroys Jeremy Steven, or Jeremy Steven destroys Duho Choi. Then fights uh, Char uh, uh, Charles Jordan, finishes him in the second round. Which is, that chin has, hasn't been the same. Thought Kyle Nelson went to a draw. I thought Duho Cho actually won this matchup, but it was a draw. Um, but again, <laughs> Duho Cho hasn't looked good in a long time, and he has twelve finishes. He hasn't. His last finish was Tiago uh, was uh, Tavares. It was like two thousand sixteen or something. I believe it was two thousand sixteen. Uh, yep, 2016. And then a couple months later, he fought Cub Swanson and went to war. War. And Bill Algeo, even though I don't think he's all that, you know, crazy. He's number 31 ranked featherweight in the world. Doesn't mean a little lot, but 11 uh, finishes out of his 18 wins. He doesn't only has two first round finishes. He's not a guy that finishes. He has th he's been finished three times in his career. Only once by T uh, TKO, twice by submission. He's five and four in the UFC. Only has two finishes in the UFC. But he's a guy since the uh, Joe Anderson, Brito, Herbert Burns wins, who's Lost one, 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 lost one. I guess this is the crap. It's, I guess that's mad so, matter. So we beat TJ Brown, beat Alexander Hernandez, and then lost to Kyle Nelson. You know, and, and Andre Vili one was pretty close. I'm pretty sure Bellagio dropped him in that fight. It was a pretty close fight. But having a win over Brito is, is pretty, pretty special. I, I don't see Bellagio. I know typically I don't like when fighters come back uh, after being finished. But Algeo never went out. Yes, he got hurt really badly, but he didn't go out to where I think it, he'd be very susceptible of being KO'd again. Now, will he be susceptible of being hurt? Sure. Um, but he, he you know, has three inch reach. He's two inches taller. He's pretty decent at using his range. Duo Choi just hasn't really shown us anything since 2016. Unbelievable. But I like Bill Algeo. I think he gets the job done. As always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know you're talking. Let me know who you're taking.